Right, okay, so now we're going to continue with mortar. Um, so I've just put the heading on here again for mortar. Last time we looked at this, we just looked at a 4 1 mix. Uh, this time, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say that this is a, again, we call it a 6 1 1 mix, but when it's written, it's always written as 1 1 6. Uh, just before we go into the actual calculation, if I just explain um, to everyone that what a 611 mix is, there is one portion of OPC or cement, uh, one portion of lime, and six of sand. Okay, that is uh, the I would say the standard uh, lime mix that is used nowadays. Um, although, again, if you look at the mortar video that I have where I describe uh, the mortars um, you will hear me on that one say that my favourite mix is a 921 which is 9 sand, 2 lime and 1 cement. Right, okay so let's um, just go to uh, working out how many bricks um, and then how much mortar and then we'll divide it up to um, determine how much cement, lime and sand that we need for this wall. Okay, so as we said before mortar is still a surface area um, calculation uh, which is a bit unusual because obviously when you think of mortar you think of a, a bulk material but when we do calculate it it is still on surface area so again we're looking for the formula that we had on all the previous ones so far is the length and the height and uh, the length of this wall um, we will say is going to be 14 meters and again as I said earlier on sometimes uh, you will see it written on a drawing as 14,000 which is 14,000 millimetres which again is 14 metres uh, and the height of this uh, we will keep it to the, the maximum of a boundary wall and that one I've written just to kind of confuse you already in metres as we said before when we um, do any calculation always convert everything back to metres so again the length of the wall is 14 multiplied by 1.8 and we will get our surface area so just by doing this we're going to have 14 multiplied by 1.8 equals so we have 25.2 meters squared and underlined so um, I think what we'll do is we haven't determined a bond yet so if I just um, put in brackets that we'll do this in English bond so we are going to multiply that by if you remember what we said about English bond twice the amount of bricks because uh, obviously it's double the thickness of stretcher bond where stretcher bond is 60 hence English bond will be 120 so 120 bricks per meter squared so again we're looking at the 25.2 multiplied by 120 and that is going to give us for this wall 3024 bricks um, and again while we're going through this we'll keep this in, in a realistic um, way we're going to say that we want um, 7% so again from previous lessons we know 7% when we multiply it by the amount of bricks will be 1.07 again that is explained in the wastage video so we are now going to be looking at our figure here multiplied by 1.07 that equals our 7% so the total bricks for this wall if I just write total including wastage is 3,235 bricks. Now, what we said before um, in the previous one on mortar is that mortar is um, 60 kilograms per meter squared. So in English bond, um, it's going to be 120 kilograms per meter squared. So again, what we're going to be looking at here is 3,000. 235 bricks or as we said before kilograms of mortar 
Right, so that is the amount of mortar that we need for this wall. Now, we're going to divide it by um, how many parts we've got in the mix. We've got 6, 7, 8. So that divided by 8 equals... So, uh, divided by 8. This will give us the total amount of each of these. Okay, so we're going to have... 404 kilograms and we see that by dividing this by 8 we're now having 8 bucketfuls okay so these two this is OPC this one is our lime and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will be the sand so when we divide this figure by 8, we are in effect getting one po um, portion of that. So 404 kilograms is going to be the OPC, and also 404 kilograms will be the lime. So OPC, lime, multiply one of these by the six will give us the sand. So if we have 404 multiplied by six equals 2,426 kilograms of sand. If I can spell properly. So that would be the proportions of what we'd be looking for. And again, just to um, break this down a little bit further, because obviously this one, um, if you were going to be ordering this uh, sand, cement and lime for this uh, wall here, you would obviously have um, two and a half ton, because obviously um, a thousand kilograms, I'll just write this down, a thousand kgs equals one ton. So here you can see for this wall here, we are going to be looking at um, just under two and a half tons. Um, but let's just see how much cement we need, how many bags we need. So again, we know that a bag of cement equals 25 kgs, or kilograms. So if we just go back to 404 divided by 25 equals 16 bags. So we will be having, if we just write this down here, two and a half tonnes sand we are going to have 16 bags of OPC and technically this is where there's a slight discrepancy whenever we're working out line because I don't know if you're aware of a bag of cement is 25 kg but when you have a 25 kg bag of lime it is much bigger. So when I've done this in the past rather than have 16 bags of OPC and 16 bags of lime because you would have quite a considerable amount of lime left over I generally go for half the amount. I normally end up having to buy one or two extra bags just to finish off but I would normally go for half the amount to start off with. So that is what I would have for that wall. Two and a half tons of sand, 16 bags of OPC, eight bags of lime, with my 300, sorry, 3,235 um, bricks. Okay.